Ah, yes, let's move to Assembly Member Harvey Epstein from District 74. He, his district covers the Lower East Side and East Village. He is an advocate for the progressive movement supporting environmental sustainability, public education, voting and criminal justice reform, and legislation like the Housing Stability and Tenant Protection Act of 2019. I think this is a real issue about how we treat and respect from small cultural institutions and community-based organizations and the fabric of New York. And we don't just see it with the mayor's task forces, but we see them with the governors as well, where they're engaging in a reopening plan and the reopening plan is focused on, uh, to be honest, is donors and people who are millionaires and people who run large corporations of real estate development. And that's not the New York uh, I support. New York, I believe in our community-based groups who do social and economic justice work, who are with us on the ground every day, who are on the Zoom, who are working on small theaters, who are keeping communities alive. And when neighborhoods are abandoned, we're fighting for those communities. And those are the people who have real insight and real important say as we move forward. And our mayor and our governor, unfortunately, seem to forget about that. They forget that communities matter and neighborhoods matter and institutions matter. So I think it's our job to continue to let them know, to, to write to them and say, hey, we wanna be on these bodies, both to the mayor and the governor, if you need help at the, the council level. I have a lot of faith in Jimmy, he's been an amazing leader. You have the public advocate's office and uh, Delcini, a longtime friend in Jamani will be with you. On the state level, Bobby and I and other people who are progressive allies will push for this. But we need to look at the bigger issue and the bigger issue is how we help people reopen and what's it look like. And part of this gotta be the cancel rent for small businesses and how do we do that? And how do we do that knowing that it's a taking, it is. You can't just take someone's rent without just compensation. Then at least we have a conversation about what's just compensation and what's the state's obligation to the theaters across our state to the small venues in my district in the Lower East Side and East Village to ensure they can be vital continue to be viable fabrics of our community. Let's discuss just compensation and the state's obligation to provide that. That's our message and that's how we do it together. And the things that the city can do and the state can do can be a unifying force. So I think we should push that. We should get just compensation, if not, no evictions. And if not, we just keep going down our bucket list of things we want, our topest priorities. And if we can't get those, let's discuss plan B and plan C well, we need plan A to be effectuated together. But the cancel rent movement isn't just about canceling rent, saying landlord has to eat it up. It's about just compensation. And the question we have to answer is what that looks like. And so it isn't dollar for dollar. Maybe it is the government eats 50%. They do by informer tax breaks or revenue directly to the landlord. Maybe the landlord eats 25%. And maybe the small business does come up with 25%. But that's where the cancel rent idea is. Like, how do we look at it comprehensively? Do we do, like a bill I have says, do we give uh, tax breaks to a landlord in the form of real estate tax breaks to, to forgive rent? Do we, do we just make sure there's dollars available? We have bills to, we need to raise revenue on millionaires and billionaires in New York State. We have a, we had 112 billionaires before the, before COVID-19, now we have 118 billionaires. So the richer are getting richer and two million people file for unemployment in the same moment. Those folks who are doing well have an obligation to give back. And what do we do with those resources? Can we then help our small arts institutions? Can we help our small nonprofits? Can we help our small businesses with not just loans, but with grant money? PPP on the federal level, some people found it to be helpful. But what are we doing with New York State? We voted for a small uh, loan program yesterday, which I think is important, but that's not enough. We need to do more and to, to help the small businesses, especially the small arts venue, because it's true. I mean, I mean Justin's point is, if people want to be in New York, they're going to have to want to be there for a reason. You know, if people with economic means can travel New York, they have to be attracted to New York for something. And arts and theater and, you know, the parks, and the neighborhoods, the community, that's what it's about. And then we need to ensure that we keep those parts of New York alive and well, and it requires the state to do something. And, we, and I hope we do that soon. Bobby's bill, the cancel rent bill, the other bills we're talking about, 
we need to do something to protect all these art spaces across our city and our state.